analog way. Pioneer in analog, leader in digital. Welcome to the ACOS 2 training video. This video is optimized for HD widescreen viewing. Operating the ACOS 2 from the front panel. Caution. The menu close-up reveals a periodic scan due to non-synchronization between the camcorder and the device's VFD display. This is not visible during normal use. Resetting default values. To reset default values, press the exit menu button and select control in the menu by rotating the corresponding knob. Then press the enter button to enter the reset erase submenu. Select default values by rotating the scroll knob and press the enter button to enter your choice to restart your ACOS 2 with its factory settings. This operation should take approximately 30 seconds. Operating mode. To choose the operating mode, press exit menu, select mode, press enter, and select mixer. Validate by pressing on enter. Output setup. To set up the output, press exit menu, select output number one, program menu. Press enter, choose the adapted format and rate, then press enter. For further details on settings, please refer to the user manual. Input setup. To set your inputs automatically once they are all connected and active, input menu, auto set all. You can also do it manually on each input number using the enter and the knob button and set up the input type one by one. How to assign a source to a layer. Using the front panel, you will always work with the preview bus. It is not possible to modify the program. To assign a source to a layer, press on layer A and press on source number four. Press take to view the result on the program screen. To delete a layer from the preview screen, press the layer button, press the black button, press take to view the result on the program screen. To clear all layers on your preview screen, hold the black button at least three seconds. Press take to view the result on the program screen. To freeze a layer, select a layer, press freeze button. Working with layers. Once a source is assigned to a layer, you will have access to layer settings in the layer menu or directly by pressing the layer button. The available settings depend on the layer selected. Layer adjust, layer zoom, size templates, transparency, border, opening and closing effect, smooth move, status. All changes have to be validated by pressing the enter button in order to be saved. Press take to view the result on the program screen. Load a preset. The eight user presets of the Pulse 2 can be recalled at any stage during your show or event. Press one of the eight first preset buttons to choose which memory, number one to eight, you wish to use. The preset will be displayed on your preview screen. Once you have selected your preset, simply press the take button to view the result on your main screen. Capturing frames. To capture a frame, display the exact content you want to save on one of your outputs at the exact resolution. You can use the freeze button if you want. Press the exit menu button, select frame's logo, press enter, then select record frame, press enter, and select a frame number, then press enter. Wait until the unit finishes the save. The capture of frames can only be done under the following conditions. The capture can be done from the program output or the preview output. The disappearance of displayed frames or logos on the preview and program output is normal during saving. Capturing logos. Like the frame capture, to capture a logo, display the exact content you want to save on the program or preview screen. Press exit menu button, select frames logo, press enter, select record logo, press enter, Select Position Size Adjust, press Enter again, adjust the Position Size settings using the knob, 
always validate with the enter button. Then select store, press enter and select a logo number, then press enter. Your logo is now saved. Please note that logos can also be keyed. For further details, please refer to the user manual. Quick frame. To configure the quick frame using the front panel, enter the menu by pressing exit menu. Select and access screen settings. Select quick frame, press enter again. Select the frame you want to assign to the quick frame, press enter. At any time during your show, you can press on the front panel's quick frame button to display the frame previously configured. Press again to disable the feature. Enabling this feature is safe. You will not lose your presets. For more details, please refer to the ACOS 2 user manual available on our website, www.analogway.com. Connect with us and stay tuned on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.